new report says Brockton Public Schools are about $25 million over budget, and this information is being released ahead of a city council meeting tonight. NBC10's John Maroney joining us live from Brockton with the serious concerns there. John. JC, the finances for the schools here in Brockton are a mess, and the taxpayers that we spoke with today want to know why. If they had a deficit of a million, they should have started saying something not continue this charade. Brockton schools are in financial trouble, according to an audit that found mismanagement and poor budget controls. Last year, the schools finished with an $18 million deficit. This year, it could be as high as $25 million, followed by $19 million in 2025. Do you think somebody should be held accountable for it? Yes, definitely. The state paid for the review by Open Architects. In large part, the data analytics group said Brockton shortfalls were driven by things like transportation costs, special education spending, and costly contracts for dozens of non-union employees. Somebody's overlooking what they should be doing and it may all go back to the mayor. Brockton issued a press release late Friday afternoon detailing the audit and acknowledging its criticisms. We're the city of champions, so we get knocked down, we come back up. The mayor is chairman of the school committee, but wasn't available today. He did say in a statement last week the issues identified in the report are unacceptable. The city is taking action to address these issues in the short term and implement safeguards to ensure that nothing like this happens again. I don't think it's fair for the money to disappear and nobody where it goes to. The bad financial news comes as the city tries to deal with an increase in violence at the high school. What's going on with the school system in Brockton High? The kids and all that going on. So it's a lot. Now, the audit report is tough medicine, but the acting superintendent says it will help them figure out what went wrong and how to fix it. We're live in Brockton, John Maroney, NBC 10 Boss. All right, here's